Netflix is putting an end to password sharing. The streaming giant has pulled the plug on users sharing accounts with friends and family. Patty, this is definitely a hot topic. ABC's Trevor Alt gives you more information before the start of the year and uh, your TV bench marathon. Some Netflix users' streams may soon be running dry as password sharing is coming to an end. 2023, the streaming giant says it will start cracking down on subscribers sharing accounts with friends and family, as the company claims more than 100 million non-paying households are accessing the service. See you on the other side. On the other side. With this password crackdown, it will encourage multiple accounts per household, but also now will have the consumers start to weigh in about what is really important to them. You are the bane of my existence and the object of all my desires. Despite hits like Emily in Paris and Bridgerton, Netflix has been trying to combat their losses. In March, they began testing new features in select countries that allowed subscribers to add users to their accounts for a small fee. And just last month, they launched a lower cost ad supported membership option for $6.99 a month Though subscription analytics firm Antenna says that was by far the least popular plan. I do not have time for this. I do not have time for you. Welcome, gang. We got a great weekend. Netflix is also hoping to have a huge weekend with today's release of Glass Onion, the sequel to the massively popular mystery Knives Out. This is truly delightful. The film, with its star-studded cast, including Daniel Craig, Edward Norton, and Kate Hudson, already had a limited release in theaters, a move questioned by box office experts. Netflix didn't release any official numbers, but they could have kept it in the theater and ran the gauntlet through the Thanksgiving holiday up until now if they chose to. I, I just thought maybe there was a prize or something. All right, national salary expectations have reached their highest level in a decade. A new labor market survey done by the New York Federal Reserve found on average the lowest salary job applicants are willing to accept is $74,000. That is the highest the survey has recorded since 2014. Now, most people are asking for that are uh, 45 years old and younger, but employers need not fret. The survey also found fewer current employees are job hunting and even more are happy with their wages, benefits and promotions. Well, folks, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Tis the season for SA Live's Christmas special. They have an encore presentation for us today, and we hear there will be a ton of great food, fun, and uh, just more food for the family. Uh, Mike and Fiona. Well, coming up today on SA Live, our Christmas special, and we sort of get the day off because two of Santa's favorite, <laughs> hardest working elves are going to be pretty much taken over. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. And we are going to meet baby reindeer for their first flight with Santa and tell you where you can meet these fluffy North Pole dwellers right here in town. So many great facts about them. Also, we take you to a Christmas tree farm that's been keeping the Christmas spirit alive in the hill country for more than in 30 years. And everyone is thinking about Christmas savings this year, so we share great deals on dining, shopping, and family fun experiences for the whole holiday season. And of course, the holidays are all about food, and a couple from our KSAD family share holiday recipes from some of your favorite on-air talent. <laughs> and Carino Cortez with La Familia Cortez shares three hot chocolate recipes to warm you up this winter. Welcome back. We're trying to make our way up into the 30s. It's been a struggle, but we're getting there. 29, we should be up around 34 this afternoon. Lots of sun, but we're down back into the teens again tomorrow morning. So keep the pipes wrapped. Keep all your preps in place because uh, we're going to have another big night of cold temperatures. 41 tomorrow, 49 for Christmas Day. We start off at 22, so it'll be really chilly Christmas morning, but it does warm up next week as we head towards the new year. I can't believe I'm saying that, but we're already there. 20% chance of rain on Thursday, guys. Oh, all right. Well, that's all the show that we have for now from all of us here at KSAT. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live.
It's right before Christmas and everyone is getting ready for Santa's big night. All of the toys are made by the elves at the North Pole to be just right. All except for these two misfits. Mike, Fiona, aren't you two done yet? What's the hold up? We have a whole list. We're behind. I guess we're just really not happy in our work. What? I just don't like to make toys. What? You don't like to make toys? Would you mind telling me what you want to do? Ooh, someday, I want to be a meteorologist. Someday, I'd like to host a lifestyle show. Oh, I'd like to do that, too. Yeah, because you really don't even have to think to do that, do you? No. <laughs> if you were a meteorologist, I mean, the weather never changes here in the North Pole anyway. It can't be that hard to do. Well, that's true. That's true. I like it. So. Well, guess what? You are elves. That means you make toys. Now get to work. I gotta tell you, I quit. I think we should go down to San Antonio. I hear it's warm there. Oh, yeah, in that far south, I bet we run into Buddy the Elf. Yes! Well, if you are an elf traveling back and forth to the North Pole this Christmas season, you're gonna need some transportation. We've got exactly what you need. Oh, yes, Robert Trejo from Zoom Imagination and our reindeer keeper is going to show us his latest model of reindeer. <laughs> this is fresh off the assembly line. What are the new bells and whistles on this baby, right? That's right, right that's right. <laughs> uh, so who these guys are how old? They're seven months old. So is that considered that's a baby young. reindeer? Well, not more. I mean, they're they don't like toddler reindeer. Right, they're okay, like toddler, toddler reindeer. Okay. So. Um, yeah, they, they are, they're still growing. Obviously, they're going to get a lot bigger. Okay, um, you said about 120-ish right about now? About 120 pounds to about like 110 pounds. How much bigger? So they'll grow they'll about, an, about another 150 pounds to go. Oh, so, wow! Yeah, and so and size-wise? In size, how, yeah. How much taller? They'll they be about bigger? a foot taller and weigh about 150 pounds more. Okay. So Let's talk about their antlers. Yes. So their antlers fall off every year. Okay. This is their first set of antlers. Uh, as you can see here, Hope, this is Hope and this is Faith. Hope lost her antler a little early, premature. She, We don't know. It happens sometimes. They bump into a tree or something like that, or they have reindeer games, and sometimes mm -hmm. they can yeah. knock each other off. But next season, they'll grow new ones. They lose them in February, and they grow a new set of antlers every season. And so, they will be bigger and And they'll bigger be bigger every, and every have a different design and a different shape. And you said it only takes about, what, 70, 70 days? days for a full set of antlers to grow, even the big ones. So. And so where do you find them in the wild? They are found in the northern hemisphere, the northern part of the world, Russia, uh, uh, Europe, Finland, and those areas. Uh, and of course, the ones you see in North America are known as the caribou. So they're in the caribou family, okay. uh, but they are just called reindeer. So they're actual reindeer and caribou, but they're oh, very similar uh, species. Okay, boy, I tell yeah. you, you can't even put your fingers through the coat of these things. They are it is so thick. <laughs> All right, as the song says, up on a house stop, click, 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 click. And that's not just walking on there. There's a Correct. They have a tendon on the back of their legs that pops off the bone and it makes a clicking sound. All of them do it naturally. Um, and so when they run as a herd, it also helps them keep track of each other during a blizzard. That's how they find each other. Uh, but it's also a very deafening sound. So if there's potential predators, they'll run in big circles making that sound. And it's very uh, hard for the animals to hear. And so they'll run off. But oh, that okay. song, up on the rooftop, click, 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 that's where the sound comes from, from the clicking of their legs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, I mean, to get ready to pull Santa's sleigh, though, I mean, are they born ready? Uh, oh, no. They need training. Okay. You know, just like in the old Rudolph uh, uh, cartoon, they have to go through the training process. They have to learn how to pull the sleigh. Um, they have to work together as a team. That's important. You have yeah. to have a team of eight to make this happen. And so that's something that they're doing as they get older. So. And you bring these guys to schools, events, and, and folks yes. can, can get up close and personal with Yes, right. absolutely. We are actually at the JW Marriott every Sunday morning from 9 to 11 until the end of the season with these reindeer. But we travel all over uh, South Texas just uh, doing all kinds of different displays, bringing good Christmas cheer to everybody. Yeah. And they can swim, too. A lot of people that know this, but they swim about 8 to 10 miles an hour. They're very fast. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's why their feet are flat also to help with snow, mm -hmm. but they're also used as paddles. 
So yeah. Right. What do you swim over some of the, the boggy areas or something? Well, was, it, when they migrate, they have the longest migration of any land mammal. So they migrate over miles of ocean as well. Ocean? Oh, yeah, they'll cross like from one landmass to another to get through their migration. And they oh, yes. can run about 50 miles an hour. Okay. That They're fast, that too. Fast. All yeah. right. Okay, tell folks, of course, how to get in touch with you. Yes, uh, at uh, zoomagination.com. Uh, that's the best way to reach us. We have our email there. It's uh, You can reach me at robert at zoomagination.com or just visit our website at zoomagination.com. Well, right. Thank you so very thank much. Thank you, guys. Yeah. And it won't be long until you're pulling Santa's Save sled. from home, yes. <laughs> All right. For more information on Zoom Imagination, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan the QR code that you see there on your screen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Robert. Christmas, y'all. <laughs>
special? Well, you know, one of the best gifts that you can receive from Santa is saving. Yes, and helping everyone in San Antonio save money this season is someone from our Elf Steals department. It's Savings with Christina. You, once again, have so many great ways to, to save and great gifts to give. Go. Yes. What do you got? So I wanted to bring unique and affordable gift ideas, but I also brought you some exclusive discounts. I really like the idea of giving experiences versus just giving people more stuff. Mm -hmm. So one thing you want to check out is the Get Out Pass. You purchase one pass, and then it gives you access to all of these different events and venues for free after that. And so my son and I have been using this pass for about the last month. We've gone to the aquarium, we've done the zoo for zoo lights. Oh, wow. We've played laser tag, we've done mini golf. Literally, that just scratches the surface of what this pass has to offer. So here's the thing. If you use this special exclusive discount, go to their website at getoutpass.com, use the code Christina. It's gonna drop your price down to $44.95. Oh my gosh. And the site has that valued at over $7,700. Oh my gosh, that's a great way to make memories with your family. Yes, okay, do 210. So another great one, if you know people who like to get out and try new things, check out do 210. So do 210 hooks you up with awesome tickets to events based on your personal preferences. So you fill out a profile, you talk about the things that you like to do, your favorite kind of music, and then they're gonna send you two tickets per month. Best part, only $5 a month. Okay, say that's the best part. Even better part, if you go to do210.com slash Christina, you're gonna get to try this out for three months completely free. Oh, cool. Wow. After that, it's gonna be $5 a month. You're gonna get two tickets every single month. And you can cancel any time. Oh, yes. Wow. And of course, I've tried it out. I always like to try out things before I talk about them. We've done the comedy club. We got sporting events tickets, as well as tickets to a concert. It kind of makes you try different things. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And that's okay. the point. Get yeah. out and do new things. Okay. All right, so gift card deals. Yes, yeah. gift cards are easy gifts to give, especially if you don't know someone as well or someone's saving towards a larger purchase. Great time to stock up on gift cards because there have so many gift card promotions right now. So instead of just getting a $50 gift card, you're getting a $50 gift card plus a $10 bonus card. Or a $25 gift card, you're getting a $5 bonus card to go along with that. Now you can give the 25 and keep the five for yourself <laughs> if you want. <laughs> or you can just give them both. <laughs> charge you. And that also applies to some HEB uh, deals too, right? Yes. So HEB currently has a promo for $5 off select $50 gift card purchases. All you have to do is open up that HEB app, click on coupons. You're also going to find $10 off a $50 toy purchased coupon now through December 20th. Oh, nice. Ooh, okay. And then this is a new company, right? This balanced company discovery box. What yes. does that mean? So I brought this because I think it's such a great gift at an incredible price. So the balanced company is a woman-owned business. They carefully curate these boxes jam-packed full of goodies. Um, this one right here is their discovery box. All of these items, guess how much this costs? Uh, $25? 50 I don't know. Yeah. $14.99 ships. What? Just $14.99. Really? You purchase it, they will ship this box with all of these goodies, $14.99 total. But I have an exclusive offer for your viewers. If they purchase uh, December 16th and December 17th with the code BONUS, they're going to get a bonus lotion and soap along with their first box. So oh. today and tomorrow. Yes. Oh my gosh. Great way okay. to try new stuff too. And then you said a lot of people say the gift of time. Maybe babysit for somebody or uh, whatever yeah, if, you're, if, you're, if, yeah. if your budget's tight, yeah. you know. So yes, I reached out to my followers and I said, give me your feedback. Tell me some of your favorite gifts that you've gotten over the years. So many people said, one, it's just nice to be thought of. Someone thought of me and did something for me. I'm happy as can be. Um, but money's tight for a lot of people right now, so get creative. 
think about your skill set. If you like to bake, bake some goodies. If you're a great chef, I would love this gift. Someone cooks me a meal that I can stick in my freezer, pull out. Yes, yep. for the week. Yes. Easy dinner <laughs> and a clean kitchen. Or a coupon to like babysit for a night out, right? A lot of fantastic <laughs> ideas here. If you missed anything, just go to her website. You can get there by going to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code at the bottom of your screen. So great, Christina. Merry Christmas. Thank Merry you Christmas. to you as well. There's nothing like family traditions and a home-cooked meal to warm your heart during the holidays. So we brought in a couple of members of our KSAT family to share some of their favorites with you. Next on SA Live, three fun hot chocolate recipes. Christmas special. While our elves Mike and Fiona are running around neglecting their toy making duties, some of us elves have real jobs to do. Yes, Santa tasked us with finding three fun hot chocolate drinks and there's no one better to help us than chef and author Cariño Cortez with La Familia Cortez. Thank you yes, for having you. me and hot chocolate is one of my favorite drinks to have during the holidays so I'm excited to show you three different ways. We're excited too. So this first one, we're going classic. Classic. So there's lots of different hot chocolate there's Swiss, there's American, and then of course my favorite, Mexican hot chocolate. All so right. I brought my Abuelita hot chocolate. So I'm gonna show you the little bit of the difference here. So when you open this, uh, the first time my husband looked in our pantry and I told him to grab some hot chocolate, he didn't know yes. what he was looking for. And he was like, oh, is right. this it? And he was like, why is it so hard? And I'm like, well, look at the back of it. And you uh -huh. see all the different sugar crystals in there. Mm -hmm. So there's already sugar in here. There's cinnamon. There's like mm. different spices and flavors that just make it, you know, just a little extra warm. So right. I'll let you all go ahead and all put right. this in here. What specifically makes this Mexican hot chocolate? I know you mentioned some tones. Yeah, so there. the cocoa beans are from Mexico. That's for one thing and then the way they process it so you see that it's the hard tablet you know they mm. they toast it then they shell it then they um, separate it and then they add in all of the the vanilla the cinnamon right. and the sugars in there mm -hmm. so and for people who've never had a Oliva hot chocolate it's much richer than your yes. normal American mm -hmm. exactly hour, yeah. because a lot of times in Mexico we do it with like whole milk and okay. so that's you know one of our unique secrets so um, this is eight cups of milk so mm -hmm. I did a half gallon and I already had one tablet going in there and we okay. just put another one in there <laughs> and, and then one of my favorite you know traditions is so this is called a molinillo so it's right. a Mexican whisk and when we serve hot chocolate we like it to be frothy so I'm gonna hand this to you all right and you're gonna go like this okay that's my get, technique I like it go <laughs> a little definitely faster see the little yeah it's frothing up here put it in the work all right okay so I'm gonna pour a cup here and then we can showcase a little bit okay. of how to decorate this Ooh. and you you mentioned that the frothier the better, right? Because it's a yes. tradition that it's good luck. Yes, it's good luck. It gives you magical powers and strength to be able to have that that um, that froth on top. Ooh, and you aerate right. it, so it just kind of okay. becomes yes. more decadent. This okay. looks so delicious. So we can go ahead and decorate with yes. the peppermints. And, so number okay. two is really having like this fun hot chocolate board. So go ahead and decorate. We've got whipped cream. We've got marshmallows. Perfect. And one thing I added on there was those little packets of hot chocolate. So Ooh. I believe that has these dangerous little packets because <laughs> now I can make one cup at a time and I can also pour some in my coffee which is even more terrible <laughs> on the daily um, but the best part about this is you know you just buy everything and right. let people make their Super own simple. yeah yes. the board is amazing that's something that's so popular right now you see all these butter boards mm -hmm. and everything I yes. mean you bring this you're the favorite person at the Christmas party definitely. definitely and it's also good if you have a lot of people with different like dietary restrictions like right. some people yeah. want you know a different milk alternative so if you've got the pouches of hot chocolate, they can just have water, milk, or like oat Sunday. milk or something. Awesome. Amazing. So the next drink is the champurrado, correct? Yes. Okay. So one of my favorite drinks, it's kind of filling. It's a masa-based drink. And so what I have here 
is masarina. If y'all want to smell that, so right. it's a corn flour. Mm. You can buy it at Ooh. the grocery store. It's like in the baking aisle with the other flours. Mm -hmm. And I just toasted it in a saute pan over medium heat, kind of stirring it constantly. Okay. You want it to be nice and golden yellow okay. and aromatic. You don't and want toasting it. this helps with that, right? Yes. So it brings out all of the oils, and it's almost like roasted corn, like mm. at Fiesta. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna bring this up to heat. All right. And then what I'm gonna do actually, sometimes when you've got like a flour like this, when mm -hmm. you're making a recipe, it's better to add in liquid here okay. first to dissolve it. Okay. Yes, I mean, here's your pro tip, almost like a roux oh, or wow. something like that. that. So I'm gonna do this and then we'll add it back to okay. the recipe. So while you're finishing up that, do you wanna tell us a little bit about the Baileys? Unfortunately, we're under age L, so. <laughs> Santa won't let us. We can't okay. tell us no. That, so but. we'll have to watch y'all, and y'all have a lot of work to do, yes. I hear. So <laughs> no Baileys for the under age elves, but to make this hot chocolate board even more, you know, if it's an evening party and there's adults, like having those little bottles of Baileys or peppermint schnapps or creme de menthe, it just makes it, you know, a little bit more fun, you know? Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Okay. So if y'all want more information on these three amazing hot chocolate recipes, you can head over to um, lafamiliacortez.com. Thank you so Thank much. Thank Daniel. you. Still ahead on the SA Live Christmas special, we hear Christmas carols from a local violinist that's been performing in front of local businesses to bring awareness to them. Next, we bring you recipes from members of our KSAT family. They share some of their favorite family meals during the holiday season. Happy Tamale Days! Forget the presents. If you're looking to unwrap a tamale this holiday season, we've rounded up some of the go-to spots in and around San Antonio. And they are working just as hard as the elves in the North Pole to get these on your table. Family owned since 1975, Teas Tamales has customers coming back year after year. The matriarch of Familia Teas tells us why. The reason why they come here is because it's a good product. The tamales are made by hand and the best. The best that we do, we do everything right, we do everything well. The team works overnight to provide the pork and chicken deliciousness all year long, along with barbacoa, menudo, and buñuelos. It's a tradition because, I mean, we have people that, that, you know, that used to come with their, you know, grandparents, and then the kids came, and now their kids are coming with their kids. So, I mean, it's, it's a tradition. You know, we have a real strong um, uh, customer base because of that. Looking to make tamale traditions, Adelitas of Fresno and I-10 provides masa for purchase, so you can make your own tamales at home. Owner Roberto Borrego tells me the business goes back over 70 years. Inside, you'll find a team making fresh tortillas, tamales, and more. A new favorite spot in recent years is Tamale Boy. Some of the recipes include carne guisada with cheese, among other traditional flavors. You can order now on a first-come, first-served basis at the two locations, one on South Flores and the other on 410 and Jackson Keller. Delia's is also a go-to spot for many in town. I got to try them when they first arrived in San Antonio two years ago. You know, it's a tough job, but somebody has to do it, right? <laughs> Chicken and cream cheese is a popular order they have a variety to pick from. Delia started her business decades ago in the Rio Grande Valley, selling tamales door to door. Her thriving business and recipes continue to grow. Del Rio Tortilla Factory on the south side has been serving up tamales since 1974. They're taking first come, first serve orders now through Christmas. Like other spots, they are known to have lines of people waiting for these gifts to unwrap. And while you're there, grab tortillas and barbacoa too. There's nothing like family traditions and that home-cooked food to warm your heart during the holidays. And we brought in a couple of members of our KSAT yeah. family, Courtney Friedman, Ursula Perry, <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas. Thank you for having us. When people bring food. So, first we're going to start with you. What did you make over there? I made a beautiful um, sweet potato casserole. Uh, this is a Louisiana recipe. Um, it's a it's a family favorite. Okay. Oh my gosh! And is it is it pretty fairly inexpensive to make? Canned yams, 
pecans, mm. Ooh, brown sugar, mm. all the good stuff and on there. some nice butter. Easy peasy. Lots, of, yes. lots and lots of good butter, mm. right? Okay. And what yes. do you usually serve this with? Um, this goes on the main plate oh, wow. with the turkey. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's oh, like crumbly really on top. Oh, now you yeah. need to know. I love the crumble on top, yeah. That my mother was in the Yampley Queen competition. There's a picture of her. She's the one oh most in the forefront. Mm -hmm. She was a yam pie, and she <laughs> oh got first runner-up in Sunset, Louisiana. Um, I love that. So she she didn't make Yamboli Queen. Her her first cousin won. So yams were a part of their okay. everyday meal. Very good for you. One of the most nutritious things you'll have on your plate. So I'm going to tell so you a little good. secret. I used stevia. Really? And I used um, coconut flour. Mm, so it's really so healthy. Sitting, you know, milk, I, I, I didn't want to tell. I didn't want to tell you. It's so good. So um, it's actually carb friendly. Oh, mm, shocking. Even better. Okay. All right, Courtney, okay, Courtney. I have to say, when Courtney first got on the morning show, <laughs> oh, and she was trying to make friends, she made latkes for us. Oh, I love them. Yes. Yes, with sour cream yes. and, and everything. You said you made them in your apartment. It smelled like I did. I had a small apartment now. when I moved here, and it smelled <laughs> for like three weeks. But it's a, I mean, it's a good smell. It's not car friendly. So. <laughs> so, so what's the, the trick to making good potato latkes? So you hand grate the potatoes and the onions, mm -hmm. um, which takes a little extra work, but I like it more than a food processor. And the main thing is then you put them in a dish towel and squeeze out mm. and all of the um, all of the moisture because then once you try to fry those if it's moist they burn easily or they don't cook all the way through they kind of fall apart so that's the number one tip they're are you excited really are you well happy? seasoned you got the dance out of them he's missed he's missed the Courtney Lodka she went and got married the husband got in the way of making us lodka <laughs> so you know but this is a, a Hanukkah tradition lodkas go with Hanukkah so it's it's really great though so, yeah any day Traditional. And you put a little sour cream and a little. A li so what we're eating is the sour cream and applesauce. And if you haven't had these before, that sounds super weird. <laughs> but together, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's perfect, yeah. yeah, and it's so yeah. easy. It's so easy. Okay. Yeah. All right. For years, when we were little, my mom used to always do. We ate dinner on Christmas evening, Cornish game hands, and we always had a little glass of champagne and everything like that. And then I kind of did something a little bit different a few years ago. So I do a boneless Cornish game hen. You can use a chicken breast, and I do it with uh, kind of sort of cordon bleu style with ham and Swiss on the, on, the, on the inside wow. and then I put a little oh white wine God. reduction in there. Oh my God. And a presentation on your plate. And, wow. and over white you rice. <laughs> now, and you chase it with a uh, chocolate souffle at the end. Oh. oh. I've done that. So was this, this the dish that sealed the deal? I think mm -hmm. so, yes. <laughs> this was um, the merry me meal? This yes. was the merry And I also put a little bit of Dijon mustard in there too. So. Ooh, oh my yeah. gosh, that is good. so good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's why you still oh, have wow. her. Oh, yeah, that's really that. good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> keep cooking that so you get the paper. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Well wow. seasoned. Cheese. Well wow. done. Thank you. What kind of cheese? Uh, Swiss cheese and ham, mm -hmm. and then a little bit of Dijon and also some rosemary in there, too. So. That's what I'm tasting. The rosemary. The rosemary. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so this I've been making for my family since high school. It's called the chicken cranberry wreath, and it's basically just chicken. Uh, it is uh, Dijon mustard. They've got some chopped up <laughs> celery in there, cranberries. You can also do it with mm -hmm. turkey. Wow. Okay, and... Here we go. All right, and uh, you just kind of mix all that together. It's got a combination of cheddar, uh, mozzarella, asiago, uh, different kind of cheeses mm. in there. Oh my god! And then you just kind of wrap it in mm. crescent rolls and bake it. Ooh. And it so has been good. the first time I brought it to a big family gathering. I only brought one. I ended up having to bring like two huge ones every time. Wow. That's something you, you could know? just pick and eat all day long. Because they oh, kept really requesting good. it. All of these <laughs> recipes are going to be online. And to find those, just go to SALive.com and click on the Ask on SA Live tab or click that QR code, scan that QR code at the bottom of your screen. Once again, Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Next on the SA Live Christmas special, Christmas carols sound even more magical on the violin. We see a local violinist perform and hear about the personal project she's working on. Welcome back to the SA Live Christmas special. Now, we elves love hearing classic Christmas songs played on the beautiful violin. And joining me is Stephanie Scheller, founder of Grow Disrupt, with some Christmas. 
Christmas tunes. All right, Stephanie, Merry Christmas. Merry Thank Christmas. you for being here. And you design and produce educational events specifically for a certain type of small business owner. Tell us. I do. So uh, we used to jokingly say, oh, we design events for people like Stephanie. And then we realized that it was, uh, no, we design events for ADHD entrepreneurs, um, individuals who um, have bring a ton of creativity, but sometimes um, get a little buried uh, in the chaos. Of course. <laughs> okay. And how did you end up incorporating playing the violin through all this? So the funniest thing is I actually, <laughs> I picked up the violin in 2019 because I wanted a hobby that had nothing to do with my business. So now I use the violin for my business. So that worked very well for me. <laughs> um, but mostly I use it like to try and drive home points when I'm speaking, make sense of something um, that might be a little more hard to grasp. So I'll use it on stage a lot. And you're also an author of how many best-selling books? <laughs> I have two bestsellers under me. Uh -huh. um, one is uh, Friend Power and the other one is Getting Past the Gatekeeper, which keeps selling in the UK. I'm not sure why or how, but thank you. Okay. And real quickly before we go, you have a retreat coming up in January. Yes, we have our our flagship event is this January, again, designed for those with ADHD to really understand, grasp, and implement what they need to make 2023 an incredible year for their business. All right. And all that information, of course, is on your website if folks want to find out more. Yeah. So if they want to go to growdisrupt.com, um, info on the Grow Retreats right there, you can also find out more about how we design our events for ADHD individuals. All right. What are you playing for us today? I'm going to play Jingle Bells. Take it away. on Stephanie Scheller and Grow Disrupt, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided the link or just scan that QR code on your screen. We find out who the final winner of the Thomas J. Henry Cash giveaway was and who will be spending the grand prize of $10,000. That's next on the SA Live Christmas Special. Well, there's one last $500 winner in the Thomas J. Henry Holiday Cash Giveaway. Congratulations to Melissa Garza. You are taking home $500 in holiday spending money. But it's not over yet. We still have to announce the grand prize winner. Yep. Are you ready? The Thomas J. Henry Holiday Cash Giveaway grand prize winner is, drum roll please, it is Clarissa Garcia. Congratulations, Clarissa. Yes, you're going to need a big bag for this big check you just won $10,000. Congratulations. She is here with us right now. Clarissa, congratulations. Thank you. And what does this mean to win that $10,000? Um, it's a blessing for me and my family. What are you gonna it truly is. What are you going to spend the money on? Um, I'm going to buy some Christmas presents and maybe go on a little vacation. Oh, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> but once again, congratulations. Thank you. I awesome. appreciate it. Congratulations. Also joining Thank us you. is Ruben Hededa, Executive Vice President of Marketing and Public Relations with Thomas J. Henry, and you guys have already given away $25,000 this holiday season in cash prizes. What made you want to do that? We just wanted to help this year. Um, inflation's out of control. People are having a hard time out there. So the real question is, why not? I love that. And why is it important for your firm to give back to San Antonio? Um, it's part of who our firm is. Since day one, we're about to enter our 30th year of business. And literally since day one, Thomas Henry has made it a point to give back in all possible ways throughout the year, and this is just the latest effort in doing that. And once again, a total of twenty-five thousand dollars that you've given away. So twenty-five thousand, with Clarissa being the the grand prize winner. Boy, there's a big old smile right <laughs> there, and give a smile on that. It is going to be a very merry Christmas as well, and enjoy that little vacation that you said you were yes, going to be taking. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> all right, it's a firm that gives back. Thomas J. Henry is committed to local, national, and international causes. For more information, visit their website. T jhlaw.com Happy, Happy holidays, holidays from, from Thomas, Thomas J. J. Henry Well, thank you for joining
joining our SA Live Christmas special. We want to say a big thank you, of course, to our guests and Santa's little helpers that made this show possible. And also Starline Costumes for providing all of the elf wear all for everybody up there in Santa's workshop. They are still open, so go check them out. And of course, a thank you to Zoo Imagination for bringing their reindeer, the Pipe Creek Tree Farm and Pumpkin Patch, Savings with Christina for sharing her incredible deals, Ursula Perry and Courtney Friedman for sharing their recipes with us, Carino Cortez for sharing her hot chocolate recipes, and Stephanie Scheller with Grow Disrupt for playing the violin for us. It has been so much fun. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, everyone. We will see you in 2023. And we want to leave you with one more great Christmas song.